One of my personal favorite new editing improvements in Studio One 5.5 is the fact that it's super easy now to create strum pattern with MIDI notes. To do so, simply select a chord like this one. Next, you left click and hold down on the note that you want to have as the first note of your strum pattern. And then while holding down left click and Option and Command on Mac or Control and Alt on Windows, just drag away. And as you can see, the note that I have currently selected will be the one that's nudged the most. And then the one right underneath is nudged a little bit less than that. And this continues up until the last note that doesn't get shifted at all. And this gives you this signature strum sound. Make that a bit more obvious. Great for guitarists also, of course. Now, if I select the bottom note first, watch what happens. Now everything gets offset in that direction. So we have total control over this during the editing process, which is super intuitive and just great. We also have the ability to draw chord stacks now, which many users have been waiting for for a long time. To do this, just insert the root note of the chord that you want to create like that with a double click, for instance. You can also do that with the paint tool. And then while holding down Option on a Mac or Alt on Windows, drag up or down. And uh, yeah, in this case, I want to go with a chord where A sharp is the root note and I want to have four voices. And just like that, I can create a chord without having to know any music theory. Please note that this will only work as expected when you have a scale selected here. Like for example, in my case, minor pentatonic. And you also need to tick this scale box here. Once you've done that, it's as easy as that to enter a chord. Now let's do another one just for fun. Maybe this time uh, I want to have that on G sharp. So once again, double click, hold down option on a Mac or Alt on Windows, drag up. And let's do one more, this time on F sharp. And let's see what that sounds like. This is super fun, as you can see, and gets you some instant results. Another cool new feature of Studio One 5.5 is the ability to drag MIDI files from the browser directly onto the chord track to detect the chords. And from there, you could just create an instrument track, for example, select the entire chord progression, drag down, and then you could use that as a starting point for a new song. Also, if you had a bass line or something like that already, you could go to the track inspector here, change the chord follow mode to parallel, narrow or bass, and then the track will immediately follow the chord progression set in the chord track. So this is just a great way to get going immediately. And on top of that, in the chord selector, if you double click one of the sections here in the chord track, you can open that up. You also have a couple new tensions to choose from, which is pretty cool. If you don't work with uh, MIDI, then there's still a couple of very nice little editing improvements to highlight in Studio One 5.5. For instance, it's now possible to also time stretch from the event start instead of just the event end like before. This is the default behavior in some other DAWs. So to make that transition easier for people who are new to Studio One, we've added that feature. And maybe you just find that more convenient. So you can just go to the start of an event now and hold down Option on a Mac or Alt on Windows, just like you would have before on the event end, which is still also possible, of course, and then just drag the waveform to your liking. And the final editing improvement that I want to highlight here that might be interesting, not just to the MIDI guys out there, is this brand new snap option that we have called Snap Event End. When this is active, and you're resizing an event end, then uh, it will automatically snap to the other event ends on tracks that are nearby. This is especially useful when you're working with a project that's not perfectly aligned to the grid. But please note that this will only work when snap to grid is active. To toggle that, you can also use the keyboard shortcut N. In any case, this has been a bit more difficult before getting these events exactly right. Normally, I would revert to, you know, just locating to the event end and then use split cursor and then delete. That hasn't been as handy, so I'm glad to see this change implemented, which allows us to snap to event end super easily now.